Hi everyone. Good to see you all again. Welcome to my demonstration on oil pastel art. A pastel is an art medium in the form of a stick or a crayon consisting of powdered pigments and a binder. Oil pastels have soft, buttery consistency and have intense colors. They are dense and fill the grain of paper and are slightly more difficult to blend than soft pastels. Oil pastel art do not require a fixator. Pastels have been used by artists since the Renaissance and gained considerable popularity in the 18th century when a number of artists made pastels as their primary medium. Today, let's understand how to handle this medium to create an art piece. Now let's watch all the materials that we need for our oil pastel art. You will need a design of your choice. It can be copied on a butter paper or on a tracing paper. Some oil pastels. I've taken now premium range oil pastels from Faber Castell. A plain sheet of paper, a empty refill or a ballpoint pen, paper stump, regular drawing pencil, black color pencil, white highlighter or a correction pen, canson paper and a carbon paper. Now let's learn how to do oil pastel art. As a first step, we're going to start transferring our design to the canson paper. You can either draw with a soft pencil or you can transfer the design using a carbon. Preferably a pencil carbon should be used so that the printing on the paper, the transferring is very mild. So let's get started with that transferring process. I have now taken a light uh, colored canson paper and I'm just going to place my design on this paper like that. And I'm just going to use a paper clip to hold it in place like that. And now I'm just going to insert my carbon paper. This is a pencil carbon which I'm inserting it under my design there like that. Just centering it so that it can be transferred. Now using a soft pencil or even a ballpoint pen you can transfer the design. So carefully start tracing on your design in an orderly systematic way so that you don't miss out any part of the design. Like this, let's trace the entire design and get it ready for our pastel art. So let's get it done fully and get it ready. We have now finished tracing our design to the canson paper. Now it's time to remove and check our design. So let's remove this clip and our design sheet and let's remove the carbon paper. And we have the fully transferred design here ready for us to start with our pastel art. If you have missed out any parts, you can always go back and touch it up with a pencil softly like this. We need a very faint outline of the drawing. It doesn't have to be too strong for this activity. So you can just connect the edges like that and you can get started with our pastel shading. To start with pastels, you're going to use Faber Castell premium range oil pastels which we have here. Let's look at this set first before we begin. This whole set has 48 ranges of colors. So, and it also has a scrapper tool, a holder and a sharpener. So we're going to use this for our oil pastel shading tutorial. So let's get started. As a first step, you're going to start with our head design that is here, the macro parrot. The parrots, I'm going to start with the white oil pastel for the beak. And as I am 
working we are going to blend in the colors oil pastels have a lot of rich pigments so it comes out really well on the surface especially if your paper is a, a tinted paper it really shows out very well so the next color that I'm going to use is gray I'm just going to blend a little bit of gray near the beak I'm going to use a little bit of yellow and then after this we will use a stump to blend the colors. A paper stump is easily available in any art store so you can get a paper stump to shade like that with your pastels. So like this we have to go segment by segment. Never start with a very dark color because it might smudge off and get um, messy. You can also use a sheet of paper as you work to rest your hand so that you don't smudge off the design. So like this, let's work area by area. I'm going to work now with the head part here. So let's get started with that now. So I'm going to use now red oil pastel. I'm just going to start shading from the head. carefully work into the grooves you don't have to press it too hard if you press it softly it actually go gives a bright output as we are working with the red we are going to take some vermilion a kind of a deep orange color so that I'm going to blend it in like that Then I'm going to take some light orange to blend with my vermilion. And then some yellow. I'm going to use chrome yellow for this to blend with my orange. So go area by area carefully so like this we will blend area by area and we'll complete this part now that we finish with the deep red vermilion orange and yellow we have finished blending that blending is very easy in oil pastel all you need to do is to apply the dark color and then lighten it up with a lighter color by blending it up there like that so this way you can always go back and forth and add the color tone accordingly and get the required shading with oil pastels like this now the next thing that we're going to do is this part we're going to add some green tones here for that I'm going to take some green uh, I'm taking right now light green dark green there are many types of green in this palette case so you can choose the preferred green color accordingly starting with the light green I've purposefully chosen this uh, parrot because uh, it's multicolored and it will I can give turn to all the colors in my pastel case so like this we will start adding some greens here and there and we will use a lighter green or maybe even lemon yellow to do the blending so let's see how to do that so just adding some light green And then we're using some lemon yellow to blend the colors to get the required shading. 
in the same way we will do this green segment part by starting with dark green then with light green and tapering it with yellow so let's blend it like this and get it ready we generally use a stump for small areas like where area you have a minute shading that area we use a stump mostly for areas that are large you can actually use the lighter color pastel for you are using for blending same you can also use your finger right just by tapping it with your finger you can push in the colors into the grooves of your paper so that way also you can create a lot of shading and blending with the oil pastel medium so now i'm going to move on to my next color order uh, this time i'm going to add some blue to my shading so let's get started with that i'm going to take light blue to fill in this part and as i'm filling light blue i'm going to blend it with dark blue i'm going to take really a super dark blue persian blue carefully work into the feather basically you overlap some colors and you blend them gradually giving a gradation in oil pastel so i'm just going to use some white to mix with my blue so that is going to give me a shaded effect like that again there are many shades of colors in this 48 color set so i'm sure you will have a great time in using all the colors in this activity again the color scheme can vary based on your design so whatever may be your design the technique that you need to follow is a dark tone color a middle tone color a light tone color and they have to be blended using a lighter color so that's the technique with oil pastels so like this we will add light blue dark blue and white to shade the areas of our parrot feather and get it ready now that i have finished with the blue shading i'm going to show you this part with blue and green shading for that i'm going to take a light green and i'm going to apply on one corner of the feather there and then i'm going to take some blue i'm going to blend blue with my green so that i will get a aqua color you could also take the aqua green which is there in the kit for this step kind of a verdi and green mixed with light green and blue so this way you will be able to achieve an aqua effect of shading to the feathers so like this let's shade with blue green to get this shading once when this is done we will now move on to the tail part of the parrot the tail part of the parrot is again going to be with vibrant colors so i'm going to use with blue dark blue some white and blend it up there the same technique is going to be applied here and i'm also going to use a red with blue for the tail part of the feather use a strong red crimson red is a super strong red color can fill it up like that and as you're filling it up i'm going to take some maroon i'm going to give depth there with maroon i'm going to add some 
brown I'm gonna take this dark brown I'm gonna add some depth there so like this we will start adding colors to the tail part of our bird and we'll get it ready So let's fill up this part and get it ready. If you notice, I have completed the tail part filling part. As you do this shading, your pastel tips might get dirty like this. So how do you clean up? Take a piece of tissue paper and just run your pastel tip on the tissue paper and it will remove and make it clean like this. Can you see that? So like this, you can clean the tip of your pastel in case if you use it for blending with the darker color. Lighter colors do get really messy like that. So just run the tip of your pastel on the tissue paper like this so that you can clean it and keep it fresh and use it for the next area for shading. So like this, now we have finished blending the parrot part like that. Uh, you can still go further and you can add depth by using darker colors like right now I'm using brown you could also use black for more depth but when you're using black please be mindful uh, do not put too much because it's difficult to clean up if you get it very dark so gradually add depth to the feathers by bringing out and adding more relief when you add black it will automatically start coming out for you adding more relief to it so please be careful when you add black so like this let's add more details and get it ready and the next step that we're going to do here is the leg part for the leg I'm going to use gray and I'm going to fill gray there flat gray and then you can use black and white to do the shading on it black can be used to add more depth Generally black is used as the last color in the artwork but here for a demonstration I'm showing you how to do the blending and you can use the white to blend it up there like that. So same way for the leg here we're going to use orange and then some red. I put vermilion now and then I'm going to put crimson red like this we can blend the leg part like that so now we are done almost with our bird we still need to add more depth in it which we will do later as of now we are now going to move on to the tree bark now let's see how to do that now to start with the bark shading we are going to start with brown and then I'm going to use dark brown this end to blend it then we will use ocarello little bit of chromello sandal Burn Sina and a little bit of white. Now we will blend all these with the lighter color. So when you're doing for the bark here, it's dark brown and light brown. So preferably light brown is rubbed over the dark color to do the blending. So that way you will get a gradation with that. Same way when it's brown and ocarillo, ocarillo is used for the blending. You can always go back and forth and add more depth in case if you need to add to a certain area. 
follow the principles of lightening when you do your shading. Like it's light is from this direction, this side will be dark and this side will be light. So follow all those principles when you do your shading. So now that we have completed with the bark part, we'll move on to the leaves. For the leaves, I'm going to use light green, some yellow, dark green, and we will blend it in. So like this, we will gradually add in shading and complete the tree bark and the leaves. Now, to add more relief to this part, we are just going to use some green and brown and pack mustard yellow shades to blend. So, just going to apply some green to show as if it's all yonder leaves. Going to use some mustard yellow so that when the green mixes with mustard, we get a kind of a sap effect, like an olive green effect comes in that. And then uh, we will add a little bit of brown here and some dark green or you can even use sap green if you want. Sap green is another beautiful color which will give you a natural effect for shading for the leaves. So you can even try with sap green. So like this, we will apply the color and now you can use a tissue paper to softly smudge it like that. Because the area is large, you can use a tissue paper to rub it on and that will give you a smudged effect like that for the background. So like this, let's start working areas wherever we need to blend it in, like this background area. Same way for this part, I'm going to do the same technique. You can also use some yellow here to highlight. So let's get this done here to the same way. As a next step, after completing the green background, we are going to move on to add some more depth to your work. Now that if you notice, we have completed filling our entire drawing with different shades of oil pastels, it's now time for you to add more depth to your work to make it look more realistic. For that, I'm going to use black. Always black should be the last color to use with oil pastels because black will help you to add a lot of relief. and when you blend, it's always better to have that as a last color. So blending can always be done with a stump, like that, if it's for small and minute areas. And for large areas, you can always use a tissue. So we're just gonna add some more depth with this. You can also use a black color pencil for this activity to add more depth, it's like how I'm doing here. This black will, won't be super dark, but at the same time, it will help you to add a kind of a shadow to the artwork. Notice I'm just doing this wing part feather here. Can you see the depth that is coming gradually in the piece? So carefully do this. Don't rush with it. Take your time. If you're using a reference picture, please ensure to have it next to you while adding this dark tone. I'm just doing it with my free hand, but you can always use a reference while doing this step. So like this, let's add more depth to our work and complete our parrot oil pastel art. I'm now going to add some depth to the head part 
using the color pencil now to give fine details for the head there and now the eye that's the main thing so I'm just putting a dot there for the eye I'm just going around the eye with my color pencil uh, because for minute areas you can always use a color pencil even though this is pastel art you're just using it to add it for the minute areas so carefully do this once when you're done with this step you can use a highlighter uh, right now I'm using a correction pen to highlight the shine of the bird eye so just putting a dot carefully so that will add the highlight in the eye for the bird so like this we can add more details and finish our parrot shading if you notice we have completed our oil pastel shading of this Mako parrot so if you notice this is totally done with oil pastels and we have used highlighter pen or the correction pen to give a highlight on the pupil of the eye of our bird and we have also added details using black color pencil to add more depth to our work when you're fully done it doesn't need any fixator because oil pastels just fixes to the paper grains like that so all you can do is you can protect your work by either laminating like how i've done it now or you can frame it and have it as a wall piece to adore your living room i hope my tutorial on oil pastel shading would be useful for you to understand this medium thanks for watching